Hi guys, welcome to Authentic by Magoma. This is Africa's leading platform transforming minds and creating mental shifts through content that informs, enlightens and entertains. On this week's episode of Youth and Creatives in Development and Empowerment, we're going to talk and discuss about mental health, especially to men and sports people. And with me here, I have a sportsman, a very amazing one, you've probably seen him somewhere. But then first of all, He's going to start by introducing himself so that we just get to know him a little bit before we get and dive into the details. So welcome to Authentic by Mongoma. Thank you for having me here. You're welcome. I'm really happy to be hosted by you. Uh, my name is Clifton Mieso. I play for Police FC, mm -hmm. football club in the Kenyan Premier League. Mm -hmm. And I also play for the Arambistas in uh, the national team of Kenya. All right. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Let me just ask you, when I met you, before we dive deep into mental health, I met you at the airport and you were playing for God Mahia. Now you're saying you play for police. <laughs> what happened? What's... You know, you know, as footballers, when, you, when we, we get contracted uh, to a club, like uh, you sign a contract with a club for one or two years. Mm -hmm. So I had a contract with God Mahia for two years and uh, the contract got finished. And last, uh, well, that was in August. So and uh, I happened like to look. For, I wanted to look for a new place and uh, to have new challenges and new opportunities. Yeah. And police uh, football club came by. So I said, why not? Because it's a new team in the league and they they, they like have good structures and they have a good vision and and uh, good plans for the team. Also, the the management is uh, very good. Mm -hmm. So I said, why not? It's it's life. So we have to move on every time. Yeah. yeah. I think it's amazing to hear that at least there's a football team out there that is under a good structure. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever we've been hearing on the news of late has not been <laughs> too good. Okay. Now let's get to you first of all before mental health issues. Have you always loved playing football? Have for how long have you played and who nurtured it in you? Yeah, I've I've, I've always loved playing football since I was a kid. Uh, remember, I grew up in uh, Tika, mm -hmm. uh, Makungeni Phase Four. That, that 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 was the place where I started playing football when I was uh, I I don't remember the exact age because uh, it's been long, eh? but uh, my first academy like was Tiko United Football Club. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they got relegated and they, I don't know where the team went. <laughs> it's no more. The team is no more. So uh, Tiko United really nurtured me into like uh, the footballer that I am today, and I'm happy like uh, uh, coaches like Nicolas Miotti, John Kamau. They've played part in my development, mm -hmm. uh, football development, when I was young. And I'm really glad that uh, I'm where I am right now. Because of them. Um, yeah, because yeah. of... Uh, yeah. Plus your efforts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. Well, um, what's your understanding of mental health? Yeah, I think mental health is the emotional and psychological well-being of a person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and how they handle situations. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, it's Men's Mental Health Month, November. Mm. So we're here to discuss them. and. Exercising is associated with having a good mental health well-being. So you guys, as a sportsman, you're always either on the field or at the gym, you're active very much physically. So does that fitness equal to mental well-being, mental health well-being? I think, I think fitness, really, uh, fitness and exercising really helps uh, in, the, in part of uh, mental health state. But I think like for us sportsmen, it's kind of, fitness is kind of a job for us mm -hmm. and like uh, training and going to the gym is like a job for us. So I think uh, doing that, maybe uh, sportsmen need, need really need, need to be like looked at in the mental aspect because they're doing uh, fitness and, and the sports as a job, okay. yeah, not, not like a recreation or something to get away from some things. It's something you must do. Yeah, it's something that I must do to get paid, you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So do sportsmen face mental health issues? Because I mean, we've had the likes of um, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, and he's, he was gone through depression before. It's something that's out there. So do you guys face mental health issues? Yes, we do. You know, like uh, football and sports is very demanding and we have, lo we have got like a lot of fans out there who like uh, expect a lot from us. And you see, like people like Congestina, they are, she's a very good example of uh, what we're talking about. And um, like sportsmen, we really go through a lot. Like when we, we when we play a game, mm -hmm. and maybe the game doesn't go as as expected. As expected. Yeah. And like you have a bad performance, and 
uh, maybe you're playing for the national team mm -hmm. of Kenya or maybe you're playing for an, uh, a club that has got as many fans as like Goldmeyer or FC Lopez then the fans are on you after the game and uh, in the internet they are abusing you and calling you names so that really affects us you know we are human beings first you know yeah. so when you read those things they, it really affects you and uh, some some players uh, they they don't get the chance to get out of that so like it sticks in them and they're like it really affects them mentally and uh, emotionally and it's something that really needs to be checked on and uh, we really need to help uh, sportsmen to deal with this issue okay yeah. so by saying that you really need to help the sportsmen are there structures that are already that have already been put in place like maybe the federation to assist and help sportsmen and generally people in sports to deal with mental health issues i really don't know because since i started playing soccer i never i never like experienced someone like a counselor coming to our club and like counseling us or i never like me personally like uh, i'm really lucky because i've got my dad he really like uh, checks out of me and uh, most of the time he acts like my manager and he counsels me in so many things but you know like we have so many footballers out there yeah. who don't have like uh, what I have, you understand? Yeah. So if uh, these things happen and uh, they really need help and we need to put structures in place whereby someone, if uh, I'm suffering and um, I have this mental state and I'm, I'm going through emotional stress and things like that, I can have someone like I, I can talk to, you yeah. understand? So I think our clubs and uh, they need to set up these things uh, because it's very important for the players. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, very important. Um, let me ask you, so how do you deal, because you've said that you have fans who get angry because you've not performed always, <laughs> to all their the expectations. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you deal with that pressure? First of all, because I'm sure you have internal pressure, like I must wake up, I must keep on going. And then you have pressure from your fellow teammates because you have to work as a team. Mm. You're not just an individual. And then now you have pressure from now the fans. I can assist you up. <laughs> how do you deal with it? to still stay uh, same besides talking to your dad for me I'll, I'll give you an example you know there was this game in the national team back uh, then i won't i won't i won't mention the team that we were playing against but i think i had a really bad game and like the entire team had a really bad game mm -hmm. and like uh, i was young then i was uh, 22 years old i think mm -hmm. and you know like, at that age i used to i was very like um, I was so much into internet and into what people are saying about me on the internet, mm -hmm. Twitter, Facebook, and all that. So it happened uh, after that game, I went to the internet and was like, ah, me so trading, me so people are calling me names, you understand? Oh, wow. They're calling my teammates' names and they are calling the team, they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are bashing the team, saying that the team is not good, blah, blah, blah. And I was really affected at that time and I was like, oh my God, people are talking about me out there and I was like, what is how how am I gonna cope with this? And I remember that time, uh, I'm, I, uh, like uh, I said, I'm really lucky. My dad came. My dad, I think he he, he 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 sensed the situation in the camp, and he came after because we were playing away game first. The away game was very bad, mm -hmm. and we had to play a home match after like two three days mm -hmm. with the same team. So we came back, and uh, my dad. Uh, I thank him because he came to the camp and he was like, you know, he was just there talking to me and like encouraging me and I was like really down and I was like, hey, I don't want to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't want to play this return leg anymore. And I was like, no, 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 no. This pressure is too much for me. And the pressure was like on everyone in the camp, you understand? On everyone. You could see if every everyone was under pressure from the coach, the players, the captain, the federation. Everyone was under pressure. And uh, I really thank God because like that time I made, from that time I made a decision that uh, I will never, I will, after a game I will never, I will never check on the internet. I will never go and look for my name and like look what people are saying about me on the internet. Never. So since that, since that time I logged out of these uh, social media, so, uh, Facebook accounts that uh, people comment about football. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't follow about, I don't follow football like the fun aspect of football, yeah. uh, the, 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 the fun blogs and those, I don't follow on them. I don't check uh, what people are talking about, what people are saying about me. When I post a picture, I don't go, I don't check on the comments, especially on Facebook. I don't check on the comments or uh, like what people are saying about me, what, what, because you know, like not everyone likes you, you know, some yeah. people out there, they, they're just there like, uh, they don't like you. 
yeah. for no reason they don't like you so if you like I provoked yeah you don't you haven't provoked them you haven't said anything bad to them you haven't done anything but they don't just like you just because i don't know for what reason so people like so something like that if if you post a picture and someone comments bad on your picture and you go and check it and you were like oh my god what did i do to this person so i i decided that I will never I will never be so like um, into the internet I will never like uh, follow after after a game I will never check what the fans are talking about I will just like uh, focus on my performance and focus on my game and after the game I will just like focus me myself I will just rewind and focus on my performance myself but I will never go to the internet and check what people are saying about me so that really has really helped me because now I concentrate on my social media pages only mm -hmm. so I don't Go and checking looking out. for trouble. They're looking for trouble. <laughs> yeah. So that has really helped me, and uh, I think uh, it's a, it's a good thing, and uh, I think most players need to get help out there because like uh, most young players, they like checking on the internet all the time, mm -hmm. and you know like uh, these things happen. You have a bad game today, tomorrow you have a good game. So when you have a bad game, everyone is against you, yeah? and if you go to the internet and then read the, read those things, they might affect you. Even you become against yeah, you. And, the same this and the same thing if you have a good game if you have a good game people people praise you and you go to the internet and you check when people praise you then you like it might also affect your game you understand because you might relax thinking that now i'm the best player in the world you know, you understand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah and in Africa, so you might relax as well so i think it's it also helps because um it has really helped me to like maintain my game and like to focus on my performances uh, rather than focusing on what people are saying i would focus on what i do on the pitch and what i feel like i if i feel like i did my best on that day i will be satisfied if i feel like not do my best on that day i'll go i'll go i'll go home and think about it and train and uh, like try and work hard more yeah. yeah yeah i got you i think that's an amazing strategy yeah um speaking about men's mental health generally what do you think why do you think that most men do not come out to say that you know what this is affecting me i am feeling like this maybe it's depression maybe it's anxiety why why is it that most men hold back from speaking about what is very human i mean going through something is to be human i think uh like in africa we don't tell our problems to everyone we don't uh, we don't share like uh, if you share you look like you're weak, weak you understand yeah. so like uh, i think our culture our culture may play a, a part uh, to that and uh, like the way we've been brought up and uh, like uh, when, when you're young when you go to school and the teacher they're like uh, when you do uh, when, when you find a mistake kwa shule mwalimu anakuchapa na expect ulie ama nyumbani mama anakuchapa na expect ulie jiwe ni kijana ukichapwa ulie tena mama anakuuliza mbona alie bebe so they expect you not to cry with your man and so that things that that thing uh in a kuan daniako when you grow up so when you go through things when you when you are a grown-up and you go through things and you're like i can't share i can't talk to people because they will think that i'm weak they will think that i cannot handle these things on my own so i'd rather keep them to myself and try and, and figure out a way of how to work out the work out things but you know that's uh, it doesn't help yeah we need to speak we need to speak out and we need like to have people we can share uh, certain things with so so as to relieve the stress and to like feel okay so i think uh, that thing needs to change especially yeah. in africa we need like to set free the wanaume tuache wa kuhuru mwanaume anazalia unaweza fanya kitu yote unaweza unaweza ongea unaweza air your frustrations yeah yeah so inafai kwe tukwe tuko free kama wanaume um you see that most sportsmen most sports people retire very early and the trouble comes in when you retire without a plan or because when you're playing or when you're in season hey the money is flowing in very yeah. well but then when it's time to go home pack up your bags and go home for maybe a couple of months a couple of weeks or finally retirement is here then you realize that oh wow damn i don't have anything to my name i was just spending and that financial issues really contribute to mental health issues um so what do you think could be done so that we do not end up with cases like i mean i'm sorry to say but when justina she went through a lot she was she carried the whole country with her and right now the situation is not the best 
because i mean if she had at least some finances in place maybe maybe we'll be looking at it from a different perspective so what do you think should be done to plan better and to do better and do you have any plans for the future i, I think i think first of all like uh, sportsmen in kenya and in africa uh, but i will talk about kenya because I, I'm, I'm i'm a kenyan and i'm a sportsman in kenya like um, our sportsmen don't get appreciated uh, really well when they are playing when they are like active in the sport yeah like you see you might be very surprised uh, someone like Conjustina she will, she might be uh, your time alikuwa very famous uh, if you are maybe close to her maybe you would you'd realize that maybe her finances were not that good mm -hmm. what she was getting but out here she's really famous, famous yeah. and it's the same thing with the footballers mm -hmm. like in Kenya we have so many clubs they don't pay players for real? Yeah, we have clubs that they don't pay players. And Do you want they, to mention them? No, we, I cannot <laughs> mention the clubs. They, people know the clubs, so yeah. I don't have to mention them. Like clubs don't pay the players. Like you play and end up like six months without That's salary, beautiful. and uh, and if they're getting paid, they paid really, really little. You understand? Yeah. So like uh, it's difficult for this player who is not being paid for six months to plan himself for the future. You understand? Yeah. Unless unless we get the structures right and start like professionalizing and if you if you're supposed to play players you pay them the, the money that they are, you you are agreed in the contract but if things go like this then we have we still have the same problem in the future because if you don't pay me like you're supposed to pay me for this month you don't pay me next month you don't pay me the third month you don't pay me the fourth month i start getting into debts you understand yeah to survive and when you pay me in the, the in the fifth month, when you pay me all my uh, these uh, months, I have I I but you pay I did you I'll go back and pay debts, mm -hmm. and I'll still like uh, try and save like for the uh, for the few months that you not pay me again. You understand? Yeah. Because I've been in the same situation with uh, some clubs that I played for in Kenya. You stay for six months, and um, they expect you after football to like have a big house a big car good business <laughs> your, your everything is going on well and it's really sad because like um, the fame for sportsmen in kenya the fame that they have it doesn't really translate uh, to the financial uh, bit yeah it doesn't really translate and it's very unfortunate um, because people like congestina unezapata maybe hapo na pata pesa mzuri and uh, that's one reason and the other one is like uh, even your person napata like most of us footballers and sportsmen at me your education at me your like uh, plan yeah you understand with the little that we get we don't have that plan for the future and i think like uh, we need like to work on it as sportsmen uh, we need like to have uh, other plans uh, in, in, on the side in case like uh, we don't this sport doesn't give us what we need what what else can we do we because life must go on you understand yeah if after sports life must go on if uh, and if life must go on then you, you also must leave yeah so i think sportsman must understand that aspect of uh, the sport because we play for we don't play forever we play like for maybe you are you're at the top maybe for 10 years mm -hmm. maybe the next the other five years or six years unachezea jina umekuwa nini unachezea sa jina wanakukumbuka ile so like 10 years maybe you never put up a maybe five years once you know so you only come on a survival mm -hmm. so i think we need to plan ourselves and uh, we need to get like uh, maybe education mm -hmm. it's very important for sportsmen because most sportsmen uh, i realize that we don't like uh, education because we when we, like me example when i was growing up i, I never sick one of kia nitakuja nitakuja kwenda kusoma mpaka form form mpaka wapi so nilikuwa na ile naona hey europe niende europe nipate pesa mingi nikuje nini you know like it's a it's a good thing it's a good vision but sometimes it doesn't work out yeah so if you keep your mind there and you I must get this team i must get this amount of money so what if you don't get that amount of money the man the ile pesa unapata saa hii ile kidogo unapata njoo na sasa una for you plan yeah yeah so but i think uh, the major thing here is uh, our clubs and our football administration mm -hmm. need like to step up and they need like to start paying players and they need to like take care of the players very well yeah. so that players at least one is a part of the little and they can save and they can like help their families i think that will be very good and it has idea sana for the players because right now there's trouble at home right now i don't know
Because I, I mean, even when you played well, you're motivated to play better. Yeah, you're motivated to play better when you played well. You see, even in, like example in Europe, they pay them well, they take care of them well, so they are motivated to play better. So if you don't pay me well, I have unanipatia stress mingi na fikiria ntanipa rent, nita kula nini, nita fana, nita kujaji kwa training mm. so hizo vitu kama hizo zina pia zina contribute to your mental health status ya yeah. players wa Kenya Do I believe those things uh, in, kama inaza kuwa taken care of players wanaza kuwa kwa sawa sana yeah, yeah, I get you um, so what do you think either the government as, as fans in the society can do to better the situation? I think uh, the government needs to like uh, help in this situation. The government needs to like uh, set up structures and uh, like uh, to try and uh, push the sport because I, I think uh, like uh, in Kenya we don't have like um, atuna structures for the sports and I think the government need, needs to help on this uh, like uh, infrastructure for sports. Mm -hmm. The government needs to help on this and the funds. Uh, you know, fans say they blame fans. Do fans uh, want to be attracted to something that is really packaged well and it really looks good? So it's on us, the administrators of football and uh, the stakeholders of football, to make the sport look uh, appealing to the fans, yeah. and so that we can like get more fans into the stadiums. Otherwise, we'll be like Utahoki in the fans kuja kwa stadium, but fans they want to see because if if I'm a fan out there. And Nikika uh, kila kati kama tano na wachaji wa dalipo three months or wachaji wa six months, so you want me to go and watch someone who is not being paid? paid. So, <laughs> e, e, kitu already kwa mind, uo fan mnyanya kunyumbani already asha asha ability uo player mnyanya kwa pitch. So and you know fans wants with the one attack wangali. That's why they are being attracted to European people because wana na Ronaldo kama someone who is well, is okay, is financially stable, is good. You understand? Mm. This is that picture wana wana Ronaldo na. It's not the same picture they can see me, you understand? Because I'm in this kind of situation that in Kenya and all that, you understand? Yeah. So, like, I think uh, we need to set up this football infrastructure right. Njo my fans want to put your ground. Because I remember, like, Kitambo. Kitambo, my fans want to put your ground, I think so. Hey, yeah, well, Pona Java grow, but in the years I my fans are making a key and a poly poly, Kwaki because of these many issues and to you know like yo kitambo in a fasa equim improve no yeah, but the problem is better. that uh, in our country things but like we improve to nando to kiruli new so yeah to nando kishuka but uh, i don't know i don't know what's the problem but we need like to get things right now the football administration they need to get things right uh, from every angle even the management technical team everything even the players you need, you need to get everything right yeah yeah, well, thank you for that. Um, as we wind up, where do you see yourself in the next, let's say, ten years to fifteen years? Ten years to fifteen years. <laughs> hey, now right now, ten years to fifteen years. Uh, let's say five to ten years, but five to ten years. No, you, that's a good question. Ten to fifteen years. Uh -huh. Right now, I'm like, uh, I'm twenty eight years old. Mm. Uh, ten years. In 10 years time, I'll be 38, right? No, going 40. 38. Uh, me, for me, like, um, right now, I'm focusing on football. And I really, like, uh, would like, even after football, like, to try and give uh, something to football. You know, because I've been in the sport, like, for many years now, and I've suffered in the sport for many years now. I've had good moments in the sport for many years. And, like, I have an idea of what, like, uh, sports is, is supposed to be you understand yeah now your idea like what sports is supposed to be and how we're supposed to like do sports so i think in the in in, in the future maybe if after football i will still uh, i will still god willing i'll still remain in football uh, maybe in the administration but i think uh, i will still be in football i will still like uh, uh, giving my input in the sport and Trying an academy, improve, maybe trying to improve the sport and trying to like right like right now I have an academy wow. uh, at two rivers we have an academy there and I have like uh, uh, some some things I'm trying to do about the sport and I'm trying to set up like different structures uh, on the grass in the grassroots le level mm -hmm. Najaribuku set up these small academies where I can like uh, try and impact on these young players. So that's something I'm doing now, and um, maybe in the future I'll have a football club. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's my vision. I want to have a football club. Maybe maybe in the future. 
Mm, maybe in the future, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got so many things I want to do in the future, man. Uh, if it I think mean, that's, that's an amazing thing because it shows that you see yourself beyond where you are right now. I see myself far beyond where I am right now. Yeah. Far beyond. May you receive a Amen. Amen. amen, amen. amen. <laughs> hey. Well, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this conversation here with me, Heso. Thank you for coming to Authentic Goma Goma. Thank you for hosting me. I'm really, I've really enjoyed the show. Me too. And uh, thank you very much. And have a blessed, blessed, blessed day. You too. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, please like, subscribe, and share to Authentic Goma Goma. If you've already subscribed, turn on post notifications so that you get an alert every time a video comes out. I post every single Tuesday. Eh? You will never miss a video on Tuesday. Mia, so tell your fans over here to subscribe, like, and share. Guys, subscribe, like, share, yeah. comment, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, subscribe and like and share. Let me also mention that my beautiful, beautiful dress here is from Vivo. Vivo Woman on Instagram. Um, at Vivo Woman on Instagram and Facebook. It's amazing. It's gorgeous. It feels good on my skin. And the material is amazing. Like... Y'all should feel it. It looks good, eh? It looks good. Yeah, it's very nice. Yes, it's in a way, Zambai. Follow us on Instagram, yeah. at underscore magoma, your Instagram. Official Mieso. Yes. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>